Hey folks, Tom Bell here from the Diz Unplugged Disneyland Edition. We are back in time on Main Street USA here at Disneyland Park. I'm here with Justin from the Walt Disney Archives. This is very cool. Yeah. We're using an old 1950s... 1955 camera, just like the ones that were used on opening day for nice. the Dateline you Disneyland broadcast. Down, down below us where the, where the opening day speech was, was presented. You can't... 60 years ago, yeah. if you can believe it. Let's get back to the present now? Yes. Let's get back to the present. All right. And so Justin has some very cool merchandise, not merchandise, some, well, All some merchandise yeah, yeah, from I'm, the Walt Disney Archives. Yeah, I'm really fortunate to have been able to bring down a few things from the Walt Disney Archives collection. And we thank you for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, let's start with opening day, okay, as this we talked very about. Cool, yeah. This is actually um, the press preview pass and parking pass nice. for July 17th, 1955, right. the opening day. Right. And um, about 10,000 of these or so were distributed, and, and somehow 28,000 or so people showed up Folks in the park. Climbing that day. the fence, and yeah. Counterfeit tickets. Yeah. Um, it was a it was a little bit of a rough start yeah, that day, yeah. um, but by the next day they had everything ready and it was <laughs> the third shift. You got to yes, yeah. exactly. Yes, um, and then these tickets are from would you say 19... yeah, 1959. Okay. And the reason I brought 1959 is that's the year that the e ticket the, the was the infamous e ticket. Yes, and so you'll see the e ticket there. Um, and the reason Unused. was yeah, you don't I, see that. <laughs> no, not usually. Um, the, the reason that it was introduced is because mm -hmm. Walt was constantly innovating and constantly right. adding to the park. And that year, he rolled out the Matterhorn bobsleds, right. the monorail, and the submarine voyage. Wow, okay. And um, so, a new class of ticket was needed. Yeah, nice. And we're getting a new a new update to Matterhorn. New this magic week, so. added new to magic. the Matterhorn. Always, you always got to have new magic. Yes. All right, let's talk about, let's talk about these babies. Yeah, all right. Well, um, the Mickey Mouse Club actually made their debut that day on Dateline Right, Disneyland. exactly. And exactly. Um, the show didn't actually premiere until October of 1955. Mm -hmm. But at that point when the show premiered, it was a huge hit. And the Mouse Ears were a massive merchandising right. hit. And um, so these are some of the earliest now, were ones. They, were they out in the stores right away, or did they? Pretty soon after. People were asking. It's like, Pretty can I get the ears? Can yeah. I get the ears? Yeah. Pretty soon after. And these were made by Binet Albi Company. Okay. Um, and they were making them as early as 1955. Um, they also operated the Mad Hatter stores in the park for a oh, while. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So these would have been sold 55, 56 in the park. Nice. Um, some of the very earliest ones. Okay. Just look at the... the yeah, comments. so this is another really fun headgear from the early days of Disneyland. Okay. Um, this is a Kepi cap. Okay. And um, they're... That? They're mm -hmm. infamous from the 50s and 60s of being these sort of construction hats that kids wore that had all these really cool logos of nice, every land nice. in the park. That was very cool. Yeah. And then, of course, from 1955? Yeah, this yeah. is uh, the 1955 Disneyland Guidebook. Okay. And uh, it was meant to be ready on opening day, which right. meant they didn't have final photography yeah, of yeah, anything. Yeah. So it's actually full Sketches. of illustrations. Do we know who the artist was? Um, it, I think it was a couple different artists, okay. yeah, throughout okay. the book. Um, Sorry, didn't mean to question. No worries. <laughs> um, and the cool thing about it, too, is that Walt insisted that they sell it for 25 cents. And right. The merchandise, people thought that was a little bit low, but right, Walt's right. reasoning was, well, if everybody buys one of these in the park, everybody's going to have one on their coffee table across yeah, the country. Right. And, you know, what better way to spread the word, word about mouth. Disneyland? Yeah, nice. Very yeah. nice. So we're here right in front of this RCA television camera. Yes. That is what was used at the beginning of this this presentation that's and that was what was used in 55 yeah very cool. yeah it's pretty crazy awesome i appreciate you showing me all yeah, this my stuff pleasure. Just, just my this pleasure. is very cool if you want to know more about the 60th anniversary of disneyland go to our website www.info.com you can listen to me on the podcast at disunplugged.com we thank you for watching have a great day thanks justin my pleasure